Okay. I need to start. Ugh. So, the first, what we're going to do now is. Um, oh, monkey. We're going to. Add a voltage reader for the battery, 12 volt battery for the Arduino side. Okay, yeah, here. Arduino, 5 volts, 3 volts. It's got its own power supply on it. This breadboard here is exclusively for use for things that relate to the Arduino. I've got a temperature sensor and a sonar alert. If things get out of hand, it can audibly alert me without having to go online and look at the website or read my email to know that something's not been going right. So, okay. Arduino hooks to this bunch of relays, which each one has an optical switch, which completely separates the power from here, from here. So, this is a completely on this side of the of the uh, relays and everything up here is a completely separate power system. It's for doing things. For example, and it's actually live right now, this is 110 volts. It's being controlled by the Arduino through an optic, uh, a light switch. And the, the relays themselves are actually being powered from this side. That's what these wires here go to. So even the power that switches the relays are completely separate. So if anything shorts or anything up here, it's not going to, uh, or motors or anything, it's not going to back surge any power back into the Arduino. So low end power, high end power. And what we're doing is a solar charged backup battery system for the low end power which it is 12 volts but it's a separate 12 volts from the 12 volts that run through here for doing things like switching things like this which is a relay powered valve for doing some sort of fluid system Um, okay. Yes. Hello, Professor Sammy. No. Did you come over to inspect? Did you come over to inspect? Okay. So. Basically, I'm going to have the voltage from the batteries, rather than have a something that's going to divide the power for reading it. I'm not going to be reading it continuously. I'll, I guess I'll probably read it every 10 seconds for now. That might be 10 minutes later actually. There's no real reason for me to measure it real fast. Um, so rather than have it continuously connected to the battery, although it's a very small drain that you know all night long and everything like that, it would drain it down. So I'm going to use a optical switch, I'll just call it. It's an LED and a photoresistor and when you turn on the LED it causes power to run through the uh, photo uh, resistor or lowers resistance and allows current to th flow through it. So what I'm going to do is every 10 seconds it's going to switch this on which will actually switch the voltage divider on. It will stay on for a second and in which time of that it will send a, a one a less than one volt signal to an analog input pin on the Arduino. And then after it's taken a reading it will switch off the connection to the battery so it won't put any drain on the battery. So it just puts a little little drain every 10 minutes or something to check it without actually being a loss. Sam, are you going to help? See a big help, you know. So the thing is, is figure out where on this am I going to put the circuitry. 
on this side, right there. Boom. Let's see. Well, I'm not going to get any power because my cat has to sit on it. I have to sit on that. Not getting any. Oh, wait. There we go. All right. So that's the battery. So we're not getting any charge. Of course we're not because I have to plug in the power supply. Thank you very much, Cap. And turn on the power supply. Oh, look. Now we just went up to 11 and a half volts, which is now going into the backup battery. Um, but in order to measure it on my network, that's too much power. I'd fry the Arduino. So I got to have it under 5 volts. So what I do is it's going through what's called a voltage divider, which is a couple resistors, which then drops the uh, voltage down to uh, slightly less than one volt or about one volt and I, then I can take uh, voltage readings on it and post it up on the internet eventually I'm gonna create another graft but not only that but I'm gonna put another one exactly like this another photo switch and another set of resistors and that's going to go directly to the uh, solar panel so I can see what is actually being put out on the solar panel and I will use the same signal to switch on both um, voltage reading circuitries at the same time so that I can quickly take a sample of both and then turn it completely off so, okay, I just duplicated this little circuitry here. So now I have the same uh, voltage divider and optical isolator. And I got a signal now that goes down to uh, analog input pin 14. So analog pin 15 records the battery voltage and analog 14 pin will record the voltage coming off of the um, uh, solar panel and what I'm getting is so I start off how can I do this well I'll do it like so I'll unplug this and when I hit that it shows that I get a voltage of 11.58 and if I plug that in, so let's say that that's the battery voltage, that when it goes to the divider, the voltage that goes to the Arduino out of this wire is 0.88. don't know if you can see that or not. And if it was the solar panel, which power would come into here, Then the power coming off of the divider here shows to be, come on, point six, point eight six, point eight seven, slightly different than the other, but then no two resistors are probably the same. So they're both working. And this is the battery one. And we'll put it over here. Yes. Recheck this. Yep. Okay. And now, and I've run the uh, the switcher wire here that will come off a of digital pin 44. Will has a jumper going to both circuits. So if it goes positive, it goes to to five volts. It will switch both of these circuits on in order to take readings and then afterwards switch them all off again. Yeah, hey, hey, let's save energy. Be green. Okay. 